What's going on guys? Welcome to Everything Always. My name is Michael Roman. Now that we're in the full swing of summer and every day we hopefully inch closer to Marvel Studios starting back up the wheels of live production, we've gotten a couple of quick updates that let us know that maybe they're on the road to just that. One about Spider-Man 3 adding a production designer, which you don't do unless you're headed into production, and another coming directly from one of the supporting actresses herself for Disney Plus and WandaVision, Katherine Hahn, letting us know a little something more about the reshoot schedule. We're going to break down both pieces of news today, how they correlate with what we already know is going on over at Marvel Studios and hopefully forecast a little bit of a return to normalcy and or production getting fully underway so that we may still get some of those releases on time this year. Like I said, we're going to break it all down, but first, if you could hit the subscribe button, we're giving away two PlayStation 4 Pros, as well as a whole slew of other Marvel-related stuff, including this insane one-fourth scale XM Studios Beta Ray Bill. If you want to be entered to win, all you have to do, hit the subscribe button, then hit the notification bell leave a like and a comment on this video and if you want stick around to the end of the video we'll get into all the giveaway stuff again there so obviously at this point it's no news that by the time we actually get san diego comic-con in july now it's going to be san diego comic-con at home there should have been about four marvel series that were either wrapping up or currently in production including the now delayed spider-man 3 and doctor strange as well as miss marvel and finishing production on a couple of the disney plus series like falcon and the winter soldier and wandavision that were all still hoping to see this year and we'll circle back to that but first up spider-man 3 in a very small piece of news this coming from discussing film citing imdb pro that darren guilford who's also worked on star wars the force awakens and kingsman the golden circle will reportedly serve now as the production designer on marvel's spider-man 3 and that is excellent news not just because guilford is an excellent production designer and a name in the industry of course most movie goers aren't going to even know what that position is or have never heard darren guilford's name this is excellent news because if you're hiring a production designer, that means you're well on your way to getting back to on-set filming. Now, of course, Spider-Man 3, like Doctor Strange 2, hadn't even started filming yet, so there's really no rush, especially with pushing the entire slate back one movie spot. They have plenty of time to get to this, so they won't be rushing on set. It's those series like WandaVision and Falcon the Winter Soldier that we're hoping to get this year that have a bit of a timetable, and that's us circling back to WandaVision now, coming directly from the support actress Katherine Hahn who just did a podcast talking about being at reshoots next month for WandaVision confirming that they do need to do some reshoots we had talked about here at the channel perhaps that series was done and complete it was only Falcon and the Winter Soldier that needed them Katherine Hahn said that she will be on set next month which is July for reshoots for WandaVision that is also excellent news because WandaVision is not set to come out until the end of the year and if they're able to get on set and get any of their reshoots done between July and August that leaves plenty of time in post-production and editing to get that series out now Falcon and the Winter Soldier that was set to debut in August if they're not going back for reshoots in July well that's going to be a bit of a stretch but considering they can push that back still a month or two and have it out before Black Widow releases in November. Really no love lost considering it was probably going to be this sequential order anyway. And I don't think anybody is going to be that concerned if they come out and announce Falcon and the Winter Soldier is going to go live on Disney Plus in October. We're just going to be so happy to be getting it finally that I don't think anyone's going to mind it's two months late. Guys, let me know all your thoughts down below. How hype are you for any of the Disney Plus series and or Spider-Man 3? And as we continue to talk about these throughout the summer, how hype are you that they may be getting back to production really soon i know it's felt like forever but guys we are going to blaze through the back end of this year and before you know it we're going to have marvel series after marvel series after marvel movie getting released throughout 2021 and i personally cannot wait guys let me know all your thoughts down below and quickly let's get into the giveaway stuff before i let you go we're still giving away two PlayStation 4 Pros, the next of which is at the 700,000 subscriber mark. A lot of you guys have asked, yes, of course, we will switch over to the PlayStation 5 when it comes out at the end of the year, but we don't know when we're gonna be able to get our hands on those. So until that comes out, PlayStation 4 Pros will continue to be given away this one at the 700,000 subscriber mark. All you have to do, hit the subscribe button, then hit the notification bell, leave a like and a comment on this video, and that'll automatically enter you to win all the rest of the prizes here at the channel, like this insane one 
fourth scale XM Studios Beta Ray Bill. Now guys, if you're not familiar with collectibles, these are in no way action figures. This one stands almost a full three feet tall. I think it's like 30 or 28 inches. They are immaculate and perfect representations of all of your favorite Marvel characters. And in fact, if you wanna see an in-depth review on this statue here, you can follow a link down in the descriptions over to Gen Mint Collectibles. We purchased this from the Gen Mint Collectibles store and he does a full in-depth review of this specific statue, literally the one that I'm giving away. So again, if you wanna catch up on a full in-depth review of that, that link's down below, but all the same rules will always apply. If you wanna win the Beta Ray Bill, either of the PlayStation 4 Pros or any of the other prizes we give away here at the channel, especially when the movies start coming back out as we give away tickets and DVDs and some other awesome Marvel stuff, all the same rules will always apply. Hit the subscribe button, then hit the notification bell with notifications turned on. Leave a like and a comment on this video, and because it's truly random, the more videos you like and comment on, the better chance you have of winning. All winners will be announced at the end of the video, just like we're talking about it here. And if you've missed any of those previous winner announcements, especially this year, as we've given away so many prizes since January, I can't even count. No worries, all you have to do to find them, scroll back through the channel, look for the winner announcement in the sub count in the title, click on that video, and scroll to the end. My name's Michael Roman. This is everything always guys thanks so much for checking out the channel and if you've been rocking with me since the beginning i cannot thank you enough from the bottom of my heart guys stick around we'll be posting again real real soon